Good morning. Good morning. Today we are going to read Beauty and the Beast, Belle and the Castle Puppy. See? Whoop, there it is. It says, Belle was strolling through the castle garden one chilly spring day when she heard a whimpering sound. A puppy was huddled outside the gates. He looked cold and dirty. Oh, you poor thing, Belle cried. Let's get you warmed up and fed. So she wrapped the puppy in her cloak, her red cloak, and hurried to the castle. Cute puppy. Cute little puppy. Belle and the enchanted objects gave the puppy a bath. The coat rack brought a towel. When he was clean and dry, the puppy ate a bowl of warm stew. He's so cute. I hope we can keep him, Chip the teacup exclaimed. Right, because Chip's actually a little boy, huh? At <coughs> Sorry. All the enchanted objects were happy to have a guest. But the ottoman remembered when he had been a real dog, just like the puppy. What if Belle and Beast liked the dog, this dog better? The ottoman tried to get the princess's attention. With a funny little grrrr, he raced around the kitchen, but no one noticed. A moment later, the puppy barked at the door. Do you want to go out and play, Belle asked. As Belle and the others followed the puppy outside, they didn't see the ottoman slink out behind them and walk in a different direction. They laughed as Belle threw sticks for the puppy to fetch. Okay. Up, oh, let's see what happens here. The beast walked up to Belle a while later. Someone has dug up my roses, he exclaimed. Then the beast saw the puppy. Did that dog ruin my garden? Get rid of him now! The beast roared as he stomped away. <gasps> do you think the puppy had time to do that? No. Who do you think did it? Hmm. <gasps> the ottoman. Oh, let's find out. A moment later, the ottoman ran past Belle and the others. His legs were muddy. The ottoman dug up the garden, Belle exclaimed. Why? The Lumiere and the Candelabra asked. As Belle watched the Ottoman chase after Beast, she suddenly understood. Ah, oh, the poor guy, she said. He just wants some attention, too. Suddenly, the puppy raced after the Ottoman, barking playfully. Both disappeared among the trees. What if they don't catch up to the beast? They'll get lost, Belle exclaimed. I have to bring them back safely. But it's getting dark, said Mrs. Potts. Belle looked at the long shadows creeping through the forest, clutching her cloak tightly. She took a deep breath and started toward the trees. Excuse me. Wait, the Lumineer called Belle. I'll come and light your way. Thank you, Belle said as she picked up the candelabra. I'm glad you're coming. Me too, I think, the Lumineer replied. But his flames flickered nervously. Belle walked along the path. She had come out this way before. Puppy, Ottoman, she called. She hoped that they had met up with the beast. She was looking forward to returning to the castle. A moment later, something rustled in the bushes. 
What is that? The Lumineer whispered. I hope it's just squirrels, Bill answered. They must be very big squirrels, the Lumineer replied. Bell picked up a large stick, and then she and the Lumineer walked on, calling for the puppy and the ottoman. Bell realized that the puppy and the ottoman had got lost. She was determined to find them. A short while later, Bell heard loud barking. I think we found him, the Lumineer explained. Bell followed the sound until she came into a clearing. The ottoman and the puppy stood under the enormous tree. The puppy was growling and barking loudly. <laughs> What's wrong? Bell wondered aloud. Then she looked around and gasped. A large wolf was sitting nearby. The puppy is protecting the ottoman, Lumineer exclaimed. He is too small to stop that wolf for long, Belle said. He needs help. Quickly, Belle put Lumineer on the ground and lit the stick that she had been carrying. She ran toward the wolf, swinging it. Get away! Get away! she shouted. But the wolf didn't move. Just then, the beast showed up. The wolf ran away, yelping with fear. <laughs> the puppy tried to save the ottoman, Belle told the beast. They are brave little fellows, the beast answered. Cradling the puppy in one arm and the ottoman in the other, he led Belle to the castle. Later that night, everyone settled by the fireplace. Belle watched the beast stroke the ottoman and feed biscuits to the puppy. May the puppy stay until I find him a home. She was glad that the beast had come around. Oops. The very next day, the beast presented the puppy and the ottoman with shiny badges. From now on, they would be the official protectors of the house. Yip, yip, woof, woof. They couldn't have been any more excited. Let's see? <gasps> How cute. Well, I hope you liked our story about Belle and the puppy. See, there is a place for everyone, right? We shouldn't ever worry about being replaced because no one can replace you. You're one of a kind. Love you.